I'm noticing how little a nine to five really gives you to do anything you want. But is that an excuse? We wake up in the morning racing for the coming petty day and spend the next eight hours we're at work thinking about the nap we'll take to make up for the lack of sleep yesterday. Marcus Aurelius says you can be so much more, but instead you choose tomorrow. And you know he's right about that. Instead of going out chasing your dreams, no, realizing them, you go home, you plop your ass back in your dirty bed, take out your phone from your pocket and start watching TikTok, scrolling away until you lose track of time and have to go to bed. Rinse and repeat. Has anyone ever been hanging out with a friend and then suddenly they start looking at their phone instead of you? Then you're just sitting there by yourself as though the person in front of you doesn't even matter. And by pure instinct, you too are sucked back into the virtual world as you reach for your phone. Go to any Starbucks and you'll see it. Everyone's looking at their phones, laptops, whatever you can think of. I mean, you can make the case that this is just a natural progression of technological advancement as our social customs and expectations evolve over time, but I won't have it. I like to talk to people. I like going outside. I value real human connection. Discord isn't reality. It's just a tool to keep in touch, not an excuse never to see my friends. For the last 10 years, we've been collecting people like stamps on our Facebook pages and don't even bother to say hi to the 200 people who watch our Instagram stories. I always remind myself that my time is limited. I have very little of it left. Memento mori, I say. There's nothing more certain than death. This is your life and it's ending one minute at a time. Either you can spend it complaining and bitching on Twitter, how people forget to use your pronouns, or you can make something beautiful for the world to see, and maybe you'll even have enough influence to make a little bit of the change you've always wanted to see therein. When I see a selfie on Facebook, I've always wondered to myself, how much was this person concerned with getting likes on this post before throwing it up for all to see? The value of everything has decreased now. Take a look at Tinder. 30 years ago, meeting someone took effort. There was real competition to get a girl to like you. Think of your dad and how much he may have worked on himself before your mom came around and agreed that his genes were worth the next generation. Now neither men nor women really value the connections we have. We're just a profile, a picture, replaceable. This is what happens when we're overconnected. We compare ourselves to thrice edited photos in front of the Eiffel Tower and wonder why we're not happy and not why this person had to edit it so much to feel good enough to post it. This is why I left Facebook years ago and I don't regret it. I think I give YouTube a little leeway for having more interesting, engaging content than other platforms, but who am I to say? I'm a hypocrite too. I'm guilty of all of these things. We're all addicted and rotting away in our homes, and I don't see any change to that coming. But it's up to you. You choose the path in this life.